Hi, it's night six of our 25 days of Christmas devotional. And tonight's story or devotional is called Timing is Everything. Hitting a baseball has been described as the most difficult feat in all of sports. The author said, I played baseball in high school and I believe it. It takes incredible hand-eye coordination to swing a piece of wood three inches wide at a little white ball traveling 95 miles an hour. If you manage to connect a ball to a bat, a difference in timing of a hundredth of a second can determine whether a hit will be a foul ball or a 400 foot home run. Timing is everything in baseball. Have you ever wondered about the timing of Christmas? Why was Jesus born when he was? Why didn't he come much earlier? Why did God wait around for thousands of years before sending Jesus onto the scene? The Apostle Paul answers those questions with simple statement about Christmas, one that would be easy to miss if you weren't looking for it. When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son. That's from Galatians 4.4. 4. The phrase fullness of time comes from a Greek expression loaded with meaning. It describes something that is completely and fully developed, like a ripe apple that is ready to be picked or a pregnant woman who is ready to deliver her baby. It refers to a time appointed in advance for something to happen. According to Paul, the birth of Jesus came at the exact moment when everything was in place, when everything was perfectly lined up and the stage was perfectly set. If we walk down the road of history a little way, we can see why God's timing of Jesus' birth was so perfect. 350 years before Jesus was born, a Greek named Alexander the Great set out to conquer the known world. In 12 years, he had done just that. Because of Alexander's conquest, the world adopted a universal language, Greek, which was still common during Jesus' earthly ministry. When the Romans defeated the Greeks, they used their wealth to build roads patrolled by soldiers, and that allowed for relatively safe travel throughout the empire. The most efficient postal system in the existence at that time allowed letters to be written and dispatched all over the known world. Into this time in history, when most of the civilized world was within reach, the savior of the world was born. The time was just right for the good news of the Messiah to spread like wildfire. Less than a generation after Jesus' crucifixion, the early disciples had carried his story to every country in the Roman Empire. Within three centuries, Christianity was the official religion of the empire. In the fullness of time, God sent his son to a world desperate for a savior. Just as there was an exact time for Jesus to be born, there is an exact time for when he will come again. So the exact time for us to put our faith in him is now. Would you pray with me? God, thank you for sending your son to earth at just the right time. Thank you for never being too early or too late. Help us to trust your perfect timing in our lives when we feel impatient or anxious. Amen. Okay, the verse I need you to look up tonight is Galatians 4.4. 4. And your activity tonight is to make a family timeline. Start with the birthday of the oldest person in your immediate family and add as many significant events as you can. Other birth dates, vacations, moves, graduations, job changes, marriages, losses you've suffered, major world events, um, changes in technology, and so on. If you want to, look up the birth year of each family member and read a few of the biggest headlines from that year. How would your lives have been different if you were born even a little sooner or later? Thank God for working out the timing of your lives just right so that you can enjoy your life, your family, and your friends. All right, I will see you tomorrow night. Bye.